guys, welcome back to the Combo Book Lowdown. I'm Wellington, and I'm finally making good on my promises and bringing you guys a video at the time that I said I would. Um, the second time I said I would, but anyways, this is a review on the Infinity Gauntlet uh, by Marvel Comics. Uh, when was this written? Don't know. Probably in the 90s. <laughs> Yeah, let's just go with that. Okay. Anyways, the Infinity Gauntlet, big event back in the 90s, and um, pretty much uh, the Thanos coming to power story. Um, this is what I think the third Avengers movie will be based on. Seeing as how we got Thanos, a glimpse of him in uh, the first Avengers movie, and um, I think it's going to be in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and then, so we're just going to get Thanos teased for a while, and I think the third Avengers movie is going to feature him and the Infinity Gauntlet, which would be really cool, and um, yeah, that's why a huge Avengers team is being amassed in those movies because as you can see you need a lot of Avengers to uh, take on Thanos and um but this the I, I've always heard that this story was like a great story like must read story and I'm thinking oh it must it should be a must read Avengers story but really it's it's a story it's an Adam Warlock story and the Silver Surfer story, um, because that's who you see most. You see Adam Warlock, Silver Surfer, and Doctor Strange. Um, the Avengers are kind of just used as um, pawns in this uh, in this uh, kind of attack that they have planned for um, Adam Warlock, and. Uh, just all the uh, dialogue is very interesting because, you know, everybody, well, at least the Silver Surfer and Warlock, they know the huge threat that is, um, that is coming to them, that they knew the huge threat that Thanos is with the Infinity Gems, and, uh, Surfer is freaking out, and Warlock got a plan, and, uh, they go to Doctor Strange for help. And, um, you know, getting everybody together. And, um, everybody else, like all the Avengers and even Doctor Doom helps out. Um, everybody kind of knows that this is a bad situation. Like, there, there's a lot of suspense in here because there's a lot of waiting around at the start for, um, for the big battle. But what is like what's suspenseful about it is that because there's a lot of waiting around and they know that they probably won't make it out of there. That's what's like it's like you're pretty much just waiting for your doom. Because they know that they can't beat um they knows but they try as hard as they can. So, you know, that's kind of the, the scary part about it and uh, you know we get this huge team of all-stars to uh, go up against them and we get cool character moments especially with Hulk and Wolverine uh, where they kind of share a, a moment where they're finally not fighting but fighting together um, and then on the side of Thanos his story is going on he's doing all these things to impress death you see here but in the book, she's, um, uh, she's a woman. She looks more like a woman. Um, he, he's doing all these things to impress death, and Mephisto is, um, kind of, like, being a yes man to him, but at the same time, understanding that, like, he's trying to deceive Thanos, or Thanos, so, um, there's, a uh, interesting things there, and, um, just this book is really cool. 
it's a pretty good size. Um, Because hmm. I don't want to give too much away. Um, so I can't really give up any of the ending stuff. Um, just trying to look through to see what I can talk about. Just in this thing, Thanos is just... I've always, before reading this, I've always heard, you know, the Infinity Gems are like the key you have that then you know you have you know all power but uh it really shows in this book uh what what that is like and um you know we we see characters you know far and wide uh you know small scale to you know small scale to uh cosmic scale getting involved in this it's just all over the place, um, you know, action, um, and that's where I think I'll leave off with talking about the story directly, um, the book is well, well binded, uh, it looks great, the art inside looks great by George Perez, story, I don't know if I mentioned this, actually I didn't, uh, the story is by... Uh, Jim Starling, and pencils are by George Perez and Ron Lim. Uh, George Perez stops in like the second or third issue of this, and then it's Ron Lim who takes over, I believe. Um, but both artists are extremely uh, good at what they do, and um, the ending of this is something I didn't expect. Um, because, again, I had never read it, so I only heard up to a certain point of, you know, what happens. And so that's why I think, like, I thought that I had the book spoiled for me. But, in fact, when it got to that point, there was a lot more to read, first of all. And, um, yeah, it did not go as, um, it did not go the way as planned and, um, that was very exciting for me because I thought I had the book spoiled, but in fact, there was a lot more interesting stuff to happen in the book, and then the way it ends, it's like, huh, that's an, that's an interesting resolve for this, for this book. I did not expect the ending to be the way it was, um, which is cool. So, um, anyways, that's kind of a short review on Infinity Gauntlet. Uh, just waking up, so I couldn't really gather my thoughts around it too much. Plus, I read it a while ago. Um, but, you know, you guys got the gist of it. I don't want to give up any plot points or anything like that. So, um, go out and read it for yourself. Get it for yourself. Because uh, in the comics, it's pretty much like a must-have. Um, honestly. It's like... You know, I, I can't even think of another book that it's a must-have, but this is, you know, a must-have book. You know, it's kind of, it's like a Dark Knight Returns. You gotta have it. Or Watchmen. <laughs> you just gotta have it. At some point, either have it already or get it, because you just got to. But anyways, that's my uh, review on Infinity Gauntlet. Um... I'm Wellington signing off with Combo Glowdown. I'll see you guys next time.